one of the things they found is that a very high percentage of people are very price conscious. So, it, it, you know, they, they may become like cattle cars, but people would rather be treated like a significant percentage would rather be treated that way and, and fly for X than have far more leg room and more, you know, two abreast, <laughs> all kinds of things and, and travel for X plus 25 percent. So to some extent, they try to segment segment. Uh, have, have they the pushed a little too far to, along those lines? Well, if so, the, the customer will tell them. You know, basically by flying. You know, and, and well, the, but, the, the customer would tell them by flying somewhere else. But the problem is with airlines, you often don't have a choice. Often don't have a choice. More than seventy percent of the airlines or the flights that are originated out of Newark are United Airline flights. I, I don't have a choice when no. I when that's my home. Yeah, my home place to go. No, but, but some people, I mean, we suggested to people actually that came to the Berkshire meeting because the prices went up a lot, the demand went up a lot. They put on thousands and thousands and thousands of extra seats. The airlines told me. So I actually put in the annual report every year, you can fly to Kansas City during the annual meeting time way cheaper than you can fly to Omaha, and you can rent a car there and be here in a couple of hours. And uh, a fair number of people actually do that, you know, that, but a lot of people don't. I mean, it, it, people have different preferences, but there's no question. I mean, I would hate to run an airline. Yeah. <laughs> people are traveling. They're hoping to make a wedding. They're hoping to make a business appointment. It's important to them. It is. It is. <laughs> and, and I understand all of those issues. I, I guess I'm asking you as the largest shareholder, it sounds like you have not had any conversations with Oscar Munoz. Uh, I've, since I've never any met this him or talked to him. So I, I'm asking you if it concerns you when reactions like this get the heads of these airlines called up in front of Congress. It's bad. Would that potentially change the investment strategy? It, it, it wouldn't change the investment strategy. It's bad. I mean, how bad it is. Yeah. I don't know. But there is no way that you aren't going to read about some airline incidents. Now, the one thing going for the airlines is they've become unbelievably safe. I mean, I never would yeah. have dreamt. Uh, but they have also worked toward having higher load factors. Uh, when they have load factors in the, you know, like they did in the past around 70, I mean, they, they don't want bankrupt. <laughs> and they need high load factors, and high load factors mean a fair amount of discomfort. and. Uh, it has kept prices from going up, but as you point out, I, I have not read a commercial airline for as a long Joe time. As Joe points out, not me. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it, it's a job I don't want, <laughs> running an airline. Right. Um, I, I guess the only question is, do you think Congress would do anything that would make your investment less worthwhile? They could. Uh, I don't think it, it will, likely. But the interesting thing about it is, if, if you regulated the airlines, mm -hmm. re-regulated them, uh, you would have, uh, well, you, whatever they decide to regulate, but you could have, you could have more leg space, you could have, uh, you could have no overbooking. You could, I mean, you, right. you can regulate all kinds of things. The cost will go up, right. and, and, and that's the trade-off. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.